Hey everybody, welcome back to Woodwork Therapy, or if you're a first time viewer, welcome to Woodwork Therapy. And by the way, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Now, all that uh, pomp and flair out of the way, we're gonna be talking about a Arturo LM3 LE5 watt laser engraver and cutting machine. And we've been playing with this thing now for a few weeks and we're pretty darn impressed, as you'll see in the review. Um, we're going to be going over some of the different materials that it can cut. We're going to be going through some projects. We're going to do a lot in this review and uh, hopefully try to make it not too terribly long. We'll see. We'll see. Well, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. So, all that being said, let's get to the review. Let's see what's in the box. Let's get rocking. Inside the box, you'll find the Otoro LM3 LE 5 watt laser engraver and cutting machine, a power cord, a USB cable, a set of safety goggles, and a user's manual. The machine itself is compact. It's 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters, or in essence, just shy of 16 inches by 16 inches. To make this even better, it's easy to set up with a sturdy metal frame and a guide to get it all set up. To get started, we'll need to connect the machine to our computer using the included USB cable. We'll also need to install a software like Lightburn on the computer, which allows us to control the machine and create our designs. Once everything is set up, we can begin our first project, which is going to be a memorial plaque. For this project, we'll be using a piece of 1 4th inch, or in essence 5 millimeter, blonde wood, and a design that we created using Lightburn. We'll import the design into Lightburn software and adjust the settings to ensure that the laser cuts cleanly and evenly through the wood. With the settings dialed in, we load the wood into the machine and hit start. The laser quickly gets to work cutting out the design and engraving the words with precision and accuracy. When it's finished, we'll remove the wood from the machine and glue it to its backer board and apply a coat of shellac and lacquer. The end result is a beautiful memorial plaque that will serve as a lasting tribute to a loved one. For our next project, we're going to create a door hanger using a piece of 1 16th inch, or in essence 1.6 millimeter, basswood plywood. The design features a playful message that will pop against the basswood plywood. Uh, once again, we'll adjust the settings in the Lightburn software to ensure a clean cut and an engraving uh, into the door hanger. After the laser finishes cutting out the design, we'll remove the basswood plywood from the machine, as you can see, and it has a hook designed into the burn, so no additional hardware is needed. Since this is wood, we'll want to seal it, so we will use our normal shellac and lacquer to give it that professionally designed look that we all like. Now our door hanger is ready to go. For our final project, we're going to create a personalized Mother's Day gift using a piece of 1 8 inch, or in essence 3 millimeter, basswood plywood. Uh, this time we'll be using a design that we found online uh, and modified quite a bit and then imported into Lightburn software. Let me tell you, it needed some modifications. Uh, we adjusted the settings uh, to account for the thickness of the 1 8 inch, or in essence 3 millimeter basswood plywood, and then loaded it into the machine. The laser quickly cuts and cleanly engraves the words and the image onto the basswood plywood, creating a beautiful and personalized gift. Okay, what'd you think? Ready to buy? Let's get you into a new laser today? I'm just kidding. No, seriously. Um, this thing actually is pretty awesome, right? Uh, you guys got a chance to see all the different products and all that stuff going on. Um, just absolutely fantastic laser. I don't think I can put into words what you saw on the screen. So we're just going to go with, as long as you get your laser settings right, this thing is going to rock. Uh, and it will do up to a fourth inch of hardwood plywood without sweat breaking a sweat in one pass if you set it correctly. Sometimes you may want to set that a little bit lower though just to prevent any potential charring, but overall from what we were able to get from results, we were able to completely avoid the charring. Uh, so I would say just be a, you know, knowledgeable about your laser settings. Um, even though I did wind up having to run that one twice, right? Yeah, you saw that. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, I reached out to Artura and I told him, hey, I love this laser. 
and I asked them if we could get you folks a discount code. And they said, absolutely. So we're gonna provide a little discount code down below. So that way, if you decide you wanna pick one of these up, you're welcome to. And uh, save a little bit of money while you're at it. We can all use that nowadays, right? Of course. So uh, you got a chance to see the review, got your discount code. I don't know what else I can do for you. But if you got comments, questions, opinions, drop them down in the comments down below. In the meantime, do all the things you're supposed to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. You know the drill. Get out of here. Stay safe in the shop. Wear your laser safety goggles. All those things. I've got to go do something else. i got to go cut some wood. I'll see you later.